Tonight we continue our campaign countdown as we dive deeper into the race for Vermont's treasurer. Incumbent Democrat Mike Pichak will face off against political newcomer and Republican Josh Beckhofer. Our Lucy Kale spoke with both candidates. Treasurer Mike Pichak says he's happy with the work he's done so far and wants to expand on the foundation he's already made in his first two years. Beckhofer says he wants to approach the position more economically as he feels some resources are underutilized. Vermont's incumbent treasurer Mike Pichak was born and raised in Brattleboro. Before running for treasurer two years ago, he held the top job at the Department of Financial Regulation since 2016. In his time as treasurer so far, Pichak says he's proud of the work he's put in into fixing the state's housing crisis. He says he set aside $100 million for investment in housing during his first term and ended up investing $70 million to support the creation of over 1,100 units of housing. So those housing investments are critical. They're critical to growing our economy. They're critical to solving so many of the social issues we're facing as a state. It's critical to rebuilding the middle class as well. More housing will bring down inflation, will help the economy, will help individual Vermonters as well. Pichek says he's also been working on retirement security, saying the state pension funds are only getting stronger. In addition, he developed the Vermont Saves program that he says will expand retirement saving opportunities to 80,000 workers. He hopes to get the program launched in his second term. Something that motivates me is thinking about how do we help you know, the middle class, how do we help average Vermonters, how do we invest in Vermonters as well, because we've made um, really good investments as it relates to uh, our returns on our investments and investing in communities, but making sure we also invest directly into Vermonters uh, is important as well. Political newcomer Republican Josh Beckhofer says he wants to focus on opportunities in the Treasury that he says are not being utilized. Beckhofer grew up in Addison County and received a degree in economics from UVM. He currently works as a credit analyst at Farm Credit East. He says he disagrees with Pichek's focus on housing, and he thinks the money isn't being utilized in the best way. I haven't seen any cost-benefit analysis, nor has the state of Vermont. I don't even know if there's been a cost-benefit analysis. He's doing what's politically popular. He says saving entire areas of land instead of investing in individual units could provide more long-term benefits. If elected, he also wants to propose a state bank. That keeps the capital in the state because they're able to participate loans among small banks. I think that would be great for Vermont. Beckhofer says he agrees with Pichek's track to fully fund the state's pension plans, but he has questions about the Vermont Saves program for Vermonters who don't currently have access to a retirement plan. And I think we should be informed well in a year in advance that we're getting 5% taken out and like how to opt out of it. That should be available to Vermonters and it's not. So there's a lot of transparency problems I have with the current administration. Election day is November 5th. You can vote by mail ahead of time or in person on the day. Reporting in the newsroom, Lucy Kale, Channel 3 News.